not sure for the they first tried. round going into it. Oh, really? Because um, there was a new update, and I guess those guys weren't able to load in fast enough. I mean, if if the concern is like the timings, like, hey guys, I'm here all night. I, like you guys, I can wait. I'm fine to wait, but looks like they're going to get started off with bots on their team. You'd imagine that something like this wouldn't be legal because the bots could be argued to be better than some players. I know he's better than uh, the bots are better than one player right next to me. So this is uh, the strat that we like to do on pistol rounds mm. um, where uh, we like to do three going into apps um, and basically waterfalling outside. They're really um, they're lined up against a wall in apps. If you go to a bomb right there um, and then two guys go under, just try and get information. Um, not much util here, but you do see uh, Brendan with the, the smoke and flash, so he probably will. Oh, we have Petra taking down Patsa from Connector. He has slowly JBH peeking up, waterfalling outside of apps. You have Miggy going through murder hole. Petra dies one. Jackson takes it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Miggy. Miggy, Miggy what he's is, holding what market. Is what are you doing? Miggy he's getting kills. Jackson <laughs> going down. Yeah, Sinclair taking round one. That was a little scuffed. You made it sound like they knew exactly what they were doing, but as it kind of progressed, it looked like they were a little confused, a little lost. I don't know, Logan. That looked that looked messy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't know what Miggy was doing. Miggy was <laughs> over pushing, and the Miggy was just in a good location. Um, okay. And I guess the CTs were not expecting them. And also they have. The CTs do have two bots on their side, so what they have That's to do true. is true. <laughs> radio command the bot to stay at spawn. <laughs> I'd even consider that. Yeah. yeah, you can tell the bots what to do, and yeah. un unlike your actual teammates, they listen to you, which is a very great thing at times. But uh, not the bots going to be moving over to defend B site. Saints are going to be rushing their way over, eager to assault it. We're seeing Miggy with his team. JBH on takes JBH. the first pick here and they're just rushing up B. They have cat, they have apps control. Do they have market? One guy is bench. Ooh, Hunter gets stinked from the guy market or the guy bench. Brendan takes down bench. Uh oh, Jackson. He's kind of trapped between a rock and a hard place. Saints occupying market, but they're making their way up. Slowly pushing. JBH takes some damage. Heads oh. back, runs away, low health. I forgot Petro can... stays. He was not expecting to see Petra around that corner, finding Petro two. With a 2K. Beautiful kill, two for the Saints against Dalhousie University. It's a strong start, uh, of course. Well, no small part thanks to the bots. The, the 3v5. Oh, we do have another person yeah. that just got in. Pub Publi? Pub Publi? Is that a foot in their avatar? I'm not going to think about it too hard. What are your thoughts on our avatar, Daniel? Sorry? Our, our avatars. I'm not going to look at them. Um. <laughs> so Petro is going to smoke uh, Sniper's Nest and Josh is going to peek. Mm. JBH. JBH take, oh, wow. is taken down in Valley by Jackson, but Miggy CS is here for the trade. Yeah, revenge kill for his captain. He's going to get that kill. It's going to open up mid quite a bit. Rotation with the bomb coming through. They're going to have to really decide from here whether or not they want to go to B or A. A is going to be occupied, but... I don't think they're quite ready for the rotation. They have Wand watching it with a scout, but Commodus with Petro going to find the kill. Catwalk is going to be taking some shots, but forced to retreat, fighting Hunter Thorpe in apartments, coming down to the van, and he's going to get SMG'd out. Publi still standing strong rotation with the bomb. It's going to be making its way back to A, but there's at least one CT on every site, and I think that's going to be their plan just to hold it down. I did not expect uh, Hunter to die there. I thought he would have gotten a kill on Bubbly on B-Site. Bubbly did have... Ooh, Miggy takes one. It's a 2v1 here. Miggy's trying to take the self-boost up into Cat, but it fails. He's not that good. I like, do like that Molly Cat, because he just um, forces the CT not to go that route. Mm -hmm. But obviously he's... No, but if I was a CT, I would definitely save here. Low health, get that economy. You have armor and helmet too, so that's that's money in the bank. Yeah, you're saving some money here. Your team's pretty poor. Going to the next round, at least you're going to have one solid rifle to work with. Um, I feel like next round is going to kind of be the swing one. Um, do you think they're going to try getting aggressive here with their with the money? Like, what's what are your team's thought process on rounds like this? Um, well, knowing that, uh, kind of hard to say here. The well. Petro is really low on economy. I think uh, I can see Brendan going with the op, Accommodus uh, going with the op here. Mm -hmm. what, it, what, like, what is it? Obviously, the op gets you the one shot, one kill, but um, what goes into the decision making process for choosing to purchase those guns? 
And <laughs> you you look excited, Logan. Care to Grimalola sixty nine. Good to see you. Good to see you. I suppose it is very good to see you, Grimalola sixty nine. One thing I just remembered is I need to put a delay on the stream. So <laughs> This um, is delayed. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I almost ended the stream, ladies and gentlemen, to fix that. Shout outs to Accusing Penguin for letting me know that's oh, the case. The bot is in mid. Sitting he's, there. He's jumping in mid, giving Miggy sound cues. What is going on? <laughs> he's taking <laughs> shots. <laughs> JVH is going to be popping some off in there, recognizing that there are noises coming. Bot Rebel is going to hit the ground. Comet is taking him out with the Glock. Nothing difficult for him. Apartments is going to get Siege Hunter Thorpe, getting the entry frag and opening up B side completely two down for the uh, Dalhousie University. And now it's going to be a quite a difficult retake. Running through the Molly, they heard him suffering. All look at look at his kit. He's fully kitted out, and he's going to go down here and mark it. It's so unfortunate for Dalhousie University. This round's going to be quite difficult. Just the SMG to work with here. Pat going to have to fight against Miggy with the AK. He's low HP, got some dinks, but Hunter Thorpe with from behind is going to save his teammate. Flash goes out. It's just Jackson left again with the MP9. Not going to get too much done. This is probably going to be another save. <laughs> Didn't. Thank you so much, Gramalola69. Appreciate cool. it. We love Gramalola69. Uh, Jackson is just trying to get as much as economical damage. Finds here. huge wow. value. Wait, and he getting picks it up. up the AWP from Brendan. Oh, he heard that. He heard that. Oh! oh. Mickey. Huge round for Mickey. Yeah, for sure. Nice 2K for Mickey. Yeah, uh, that was very important. If they round, if they ended up getting up, honestly, the teammates going down there don't matter because look at the money, right? Um, they, they're able to buy themselves back into this round. They don't really care about it too much. Four rounds in, lost bonus is going to be in full swing. Um, I think getting that kill was the most important thing. And again, you, you seem to be amused over there, AP. I'm pretty amused with the fact that right now, Dalhousie University, they only have Deagles and FMOS to work with. I think that's going to allow them to pressure um, longer angles a little bit better, but these uh, close quarters fights, they're going to suffer quite a bit, and I think you're going to see that reflected in where they choose to hold. Apps and Catwalk, and you're going to see one down in uh, T -ramp. Palace. Yeah, T-Ramp. But you look on B-Site, uh, Bubbly, uh, the yellow, um, he was he, he boosted onto B-Site mm. from... Oh, that's a dirty spot right there, it's especially quite with the Deagle. Yeah. This is like that. Sl I pointed at the screen as if anyone could see me, but that slit right there is going to be damn near impossible. Like, this is the perfect shooting range for a Deagle. I'm forgetting to switch to other people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, bear with me. So Observing. Gets one D. Mickey gets a kill on the Pat Zach, and they just go on to be A site. Yeah, it's, it's opened up. They're going to go for the plant wall. They have to wait for the bomb carrier. <laughs> the bomb was just in apps. I don't know why it was in apps for the longest of time, but now Commodus is on site. He's going to go plant. Oh, St. Clair gets round five. Only losing Hunter Thorpe, um, second richest on the team. So Maybe again, with another 3K as well. You're fine with it. Dalhousie University going into this round. Were you guys um, expecting it to be this dominant? or We expected to win, yes. Okay. Um, we, we did really well in uh, regular season, uh, six and one, uh, second seed in our group. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were going into a very confident uh, we, we practice a lot, scrim a lot, and then a few of us are on another team outside of the college, so that helps a lot too. A lot of experience. Oh, but maybe not enough as JBH is going to go down, and uh, it's going to be in quite the boon for Dalhousie University. Saints playing a little bit of a split push from mid to uh, B site, looking for underpass, but not committing to it fully. A gunfight's going to break out near this ramp here. Miggy breaks his way into a site. Teammates slowly pouring in. Dalhousie University on the defense. Miggy almost finding ahead. Pat Zach going down, but not after taking out Petro. Miggy. Miggy with a 3k right now. He can get a 4. Oh. Nah, no such thing. But TKM. Gonna get wow. immediately dinked out by Hunter Thorpe. I did not think Hunter had that there. Why not? You have faith in your teammates. You gotta have faith. But I have faith in Publi. If I were Publi, I would definitely save here with the op, considering the economy for another save? Dalhousie. Another save, Daniel. Another save. You have to be a little confident. Add that I, to the counter. I feel, <laughs> I feel like 
if you're going to make any kind of aggressive play, this is the time to do it. There's no reason not to. You're already down. You got the loss bonus. You'll be able to buy back next round. See if you can hurt the economy of the Saints at least a little bit. Hunter Thorpe taken down with the op, but Commodus with his own going to get revenge for his fallen teammate. The Saints taking a lot of money damage here. Um, this round, they, you know, they've been winning the rounds all their teammates surviving up until this point. Now we're starting to see some deaths, and it's going to chip away at the economy, slowly but surely. Miggy's only died once, if you look at that, and he's 12-1. and one. Miggy's absolutely frying. Not, yeah, not, more, not more than Petro. I'll tell you that much. My goat, Alex, he's, he's doing a great job so far. He did get an MVP last year. Um, yeah. Keep in mind, too. <laughs> two, two, years, two years running. But with Miggy getting a headshot, I think his running for MVP is going to get cut short. It's now JBH holding down Crow's Nest with the AK. Molly's going to come in tow to help him out just a little bit more. Saints, where do you think they're going to rotate here? Um, I think they're just going to go B, but they got to go all the way back to T spawn and get bombs. So I think um, Hunter, Hunter OP might as well just run back, or you have Commodus sneaking back to... Back to T-Spawn, going to get the bomb, going through apps. But also, you need to watch Market here as there are two in Market. I always thought it was Hunter Thorpe. It's Hunter Hun OP? Hunter OP, yeah. Really? Am I just, like, bad at reading then? But, you know who's not bad at reading? Petra reading the game state, at least finding one. Rebel was able to turn that around and at least get the revenge kill. But Hunter OP, yeah, it is Hunter OP. I never really, like, yeah, that was Hunter Thorpe. He's going to be able to get the kill, finish out the round. Saints 7 and 0 oh so far now in this Now, it's half. still... One bot is still in the game to nail it. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. the 4v5 still going on. I didn't so. even realize that. I forgot the whole bot thing was going on. And to be fair, the bot's doing all right. Actually, no, that's the stats of the teammate who likes That's the teammate who, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, interesting. So, I guess you can't really blame the bot. The bot's doing what the bot's being told to do. He stays at spawn, and whenever someone dies, someone takes him. And then, it, I, don't, I wonder what gun he has. He has a FAMAS. They always buy FAMASs and Novas. They always, they always buy weird, <laughs> weird economy buys. <laughs> well, I, I'd imagine that, obviously, it's, it's a huge detriment to be down a player. But, like, with the respawn of the bot, like, is this something that, that was is a, valuable? That was a T timeout. I don't know why the T's timed out there. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they want to give some time for their guy to join back. Is it what? So the update's just making people take too long to update it, to the, like download well, it. Well, it could be just bad universe or bad uh, Wi-Fi at the uh, in Nova Scotia. I'd imagine. True. Yeah. Um, that's where uh, Dalhousie is located. Shouts to Nova Scotians. Shout out to Nova Scotia. And hey Michael Commodus. Oh, he's from there. No. Oh. Just I see. Oh, but the op shot, not wow. shout, taking back that shot. I take that out. back, Commodus. Yeah, really. Not my go. Not showing up for the team there. But Wait, gonna be Mickey with mates. the auto. Uh-oh. What the heck, Miggy? Miggy's trying to piss him off oh. at the moment. Miggy, 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 can't you see? Flash comes out, but he has an aid in hand. The spray is not going to find anything. Completely worthless spray. Frag is going to come out. Take 20% off. They're not going to expect Petro here. Oh, but nice. Petro there when he was needed most, swinging around the corner, leading the charge, finding almost another one, but that's going to be falling onto the shoulders of Petro, getting that kill, taking out Pat Zach, opening up the site. And in the meantime, the Saints have been rotating, crawling around, opening up every other site. And now they're going to commit to winning the round immediately. Hunter OP getting the final kill onto Publi now, in Tunnel and Connect. I don't want to say this now, but... 13-0 incoming? I mean, I... Map 1, 13-0? I wouldn't be surprised considering they're down a player. And the, the economy, like, it's either they buy to 2,000, the uh, Dalhousie, or they just save and don't buy anything. Okay, so they will go for a f straight up full buy? Or I mean, no, they got... A light, yeah. light buy. Yeah, I don't even know the terminology for buying. I, I kind of just make it up as I go, and it works for me because I you can't describe something like that. But hey... Finding Hunter OP, JBH finding a revenge kill. Saints are going to be rushing into A site, throwing caution to the wind. One jungle going to get taken out, but the Saints able to find their okay. way. Maybe I did speak too soon about the 13-0. You yeah, absolutely did. But, but there is there is still hope here uh, where Petro can get a nice... As long as Petro is in the round, there's always hope. He's going to peek mid, hopefully get the guy mid, and then probably run... 
to B Perfect. after that. Go under and go B. Perfect spray control. Petro just turned this from a 2v1 into a 1v1 with one smart play, reading the game state, recognizing the rotations, oh, and in fact, faking it out. He's dirtying me! Ew. I would have thought he went B. I would have thought he was going to go B too. He's faking out the casters. He's faking out his own teammate. That's how smart... Petro is. Wow. He's going to find his way to A site, going to get the plants, and if only this was TDM, he would have been able to get one of those booster shots and heal himself back up to full. Unfortunately, it's not gonna, how it's going to work here. I think he's just going to go for the plant. He should recognize that no one's going to be here. But, you know, like he made the fake out play. Just go plant. Hurry up. The All booster right. shots. Yeah, you know, like the. Yes. <laughs> and your screen changes. It's like radioactive, like that. Like the. Oh, the bot's alive. But it's uh, played as uh, TTKM. Rebel. Rebel. I don't know how Rebel or TTKM throw it on the leaderboard. I mean, could be could be worse. Full HP basically against 7%. He has Util, and he hears him. This could be a really good position. He has a volley in the flash too. Hunter! Perfect oh, play! Petro! <laughs> Alex. Petro with the 4K here. Save them from going down. One Beautifully round. done. That... If there was a round four Dalhousie to win, that was it. And still, despite it all, we're going to see Petro bring it back for the Saints in quite the remarkable fashion. Again, it's just the game knowledge that, oh, wow. <laughs> Brendan, Commodus is opening cases mid-game. They're that confident. I think it's just for the luck. You know, they want to make sure they have all the luck that they can get, so they're consulting, you know, the, the wheel. But... TTKM going to have a little bit of luck and narrowly avoid that bullet that whizzed by his head. Now the Saints playing on all points of the map. Dalhousie going to do very much the same as they would on defense. Seeing the rotations come through, Saints seem to be favoring mid. JBH taking some shots, not going to be finding any damage on there. But Frag actually going to do a decent amount. Just 21% over Commodus in apps or a Palace forced to retreat after they just uh, ranked some shots their way. Now, how do you think the Saints are going to want to make this go down? Oh. Uh, there's mollies out in apartments. Flash comes through. Hunter OP just trying to take it inch by inch. But Pat Sack, oh, rather, uh, Publi on the other side of the smoke. Just waiting. Oh, he's actually going to get shot from behind. Jackson taking him out. Hunter OP on the ground right in front of the van taken out as well. But in that little corner. But they do have a site open. But Bomb is... Stuck in apps. I don't know what they're gonna do here. They're gonna. They have economy, so they can just go in there and push it. That's not someone you know, right? No. All right. <laughs> no, no. That's why I asked. I looked at it. He created six minutes ago. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. It could have been like one of your relatives. In any case, they're gonna be pushing out into market. Saints aggressively pursuing this bomb. Petro. Petro's gonna win this again. He has to do it. No choice. Jackson knows it's good for him. He's going to stay in hiding, finding the early shots, but not finding the kill. Petro chasing oh. it down. Dalhousie's going to get one on the board. At the very least, Petro... Petro's benched. I'm telling him that. Don't tell him that. He's <laughs> going to he's gonna think you're serious. He's going to get scared. Um, but in any case, that was beautifully played by the Saints. Um, I don't think they could have done that much better. Um, or at least I'm speaking pet about Petro, rather. I don't know why I said the Saints. Petro played that really well. Unfortunately, again, just too low HP and uh, took some shots early. He revealed his shoulder. We we're seeing the push publicly with the auto. <laughs> Miggy's auto. Miggy's auto. You, break, you buy an auto, you got to break the auto price. Like, that's... With Miggy buying that auto, he oh, Hunter has no money. He went from the richest man on the team to the poorest man in the team. That's what the economy is like these days. Logan, shed some light on what your team's comms are usually like in a situation like this. How do they decide on where to go and how they want to approach a push um, like this? What's the game state? We basically just go off um, We go off by defaults and then go by picks, really. like um, So defaults for us would just be 1A, uh, 2A, uh, two mid, 2B, uh, two and then 1B going under. And just hoping to get a pick from there. Um, in this case, they, they already killed a guy on A, so they knew A was a bit emptier, and then they knew that there was at least two guys on B, so I'm assuming once they picked the guy from A, the last guy, they would just rush A. That con. makes a lot of sense, and 
Plank for picks. I don't know why JP's running the corner with his back turn, but with that flash, it works. beautifully done. I didn't even notice flash was coming through until I saw that guy covering his eyes. Now TTKM almost, but not quite. Hunter Thorpe with the strafe shot, taking him out. Two kills for him this round. That's one to ten. Commodus is my troll. He, he, he's throwing right now. He's five and six right now. Oh, yeah. They just got their their final person. <laughs> oh, in the last in. round. Ten rounds in. Ten rounds in. They have their full squad. Thank God we have a real match I get for you, our I teams. Get you. You get me, Logan. I get you. We get Logan. We get it, Logan. Petra loves to throw the, the molly. Oh. Oh, he wow. doesn't even care. JBH the running smoke. through. Almost getting the kill. Finally finishing it off. The flash from Miggy. Definitely going to assist him there. We're going to see TTKM with the deagle. Doing his best this to hold is brutal. Up I feel like he's going to get one right here. Smoke, but they recognize that where that smoke came from and where he might be going after Miggy quartering him off. But Miggy, stalwart defender of the catwalk, taking him out. But Marketplace was a massacre. There was a sale for bullets, and everybody got in on that action, trying to find a way to make it favorable. But Miggy missing the taste. He's going to go down. <laughs> yeah, Goober. You got to play it serious, bud. This could be another round for Dalhousie. Full HP, but as soon as I flip off Petro finishing the round, that's going to be an 11 to 1 half for St. Clair Saints, bringing us now to next side. Talk to me, Logan. How are the Saints feeling? Um, I think they're, they're feeling really good right now. We, we really always feel confident uh, each match. I don't think there was ever a match that we felt we were going to lose. Based. Really? Um, we just have a good good connection and um, through us all and good, uh, good personal relationships, so that really helps a lot. Of course. And you guys seem like a very chill team, very good guys. Uh, and we don't cause any trouble. We're just we're neutral. We're wow, Hunter. Cool. Cool crosshair, buddy. With a smoke in hand. Not sure what he's looking for. Does with that. he have an R8 revolver? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I like that. It's a good gun. Wow. It's they are relying team. on Hunter right here. What is what is the play here? Just to jump peek, Hunter's going to throw the smoke and then just basically retrieve so the smoke can buy them a couple seconds to rotate. But I understand that. I was wondering what the, sp oh, what the play was. The for smoke him. failed. Now it's fan. I don't know if that was a play or... I don't know. <laughs> That was weird, <laughs> but now we're seeing the Avengers assembling over on Market Miggy. Miggy with the already kill. kill. Petro with one. Oh, JBH switching the gun! Down. Unfortunate. Oh. Petro can clutch it up from here. Make it 12 1. He doesn't even have time to reload. As soon as he does, he knows he's going to be facing someone, running him down. He's going to look for the bullet. No, he's actually going to go for the reload. I thought he would try to pick up another gun. He's going to be watching apps. Not going to find the headshot, but looking for the bench, charging him down. He knows that stagnation is death in the pistol round. Trying to find the headshot. Just two more bullets. Looking for a gun on the ground. Yeah, he, he picked up a kit. Oh, he pit. He did. He's faking. Oh. Two bullets, two bullets could be all the difference it makes for this game. He finds the shot. Not going to be able to find the defuse, however. Not going to be able to survive the round either. Dalhousie University winning the pistol round here with their first round of playing with their whole squad. And I think this could be dangerous. Maybe, hey, you know, that might have been the difference maker ultimately. Wouldn't be surprised if it was, but still, Saints losing their first legitimate round. And uh, it's going to affect them going to the next. Um, what's next? I don't know. Oh, they looks like they're going to. What well, what we like to do is if we lose pistol round, they like to just do four push one site. Okay. And as you saw, they pushed four initially a site, peek mid, peek through con, and then I guess they're just rotating back up to B because they just hear people going under. No, the Saints are a CT brother. I know. Okay. Okay. But Petro finding two with the Deagle. This man's lethal. Almost finding Pat Zach as well. General Raz finally going to take down. Miggy with the R8 again. Alexander the Massacre. <laughs> Pat Zach. The Lord's Weapon. Watching Market. Nade in hand. Smoke as well. He's going to smoke out Market's main door. He's getting pincered from behind. We're waiting. We're seeing Commodus picking up a gun. Galil, AR in hand. And as he steps into that corner, that marks his death. Probably getting the final kill of the round. Going to be able to find the plant as well. Get the well. bomb plant too. Get the extra 500 bucks. 
Dalhousie, they have their five, and now they're winning rounds. Saints really must be uh, a little worried now. Maybe they're uh, not as good as they thought. No, I think now you, you have the Saints with um, assault rifles. Yeah, they, um, they're doing great. They're doing great, the Saints Mickey are. with the pop flash down in under. Just Oh, Mickey gets one with the uh, MP9, retreats. That was huge for Mickey. What a nice pop flash by the kid. <laughs> by the kid? <laughs> He's a grown man. He's your teammate. I'm older than the guy. I see. Well, that, the guy is a bit more Mickey appropriate. Mickey does go for a little another peek. He was a bit hungry, though. He did die there. But Commodus did get Jackson, but then probably did take down Commodus by pushing. I think Commodus was over aggression. That's how he... These rotations. The map just looks weird. Am I crazy? This map just looks really goofy to me. This is one of my favorite maps. No, I mean like oh. the, the game state. Like this just doesn't look right. Like where people are. <laughs> like like I, like this doesn't. This not supposed to happen. Like this kind of play. Is, I feel like that's just a mistake. But Hunter OP getting taken down wow. is just gonna be JBH. JBH wins this here. He's been really good um, with the entry kills here. He's the rock of the team. ADR 99. He's a coach. Looking to up it further but that flick so dangerous from ttkm four kills on the guy going into this round 11 to 4 they haven't dropped one since they got their fifth general raz not topping the scoreboard necessarily because of the late entry but definitely topping our hearts thoughts what are you doing after this, Danielle? What's going your plan home. later tonight? Are you I going need to home? finish my assignment with Mark and Tyson in the cage, <laughs> and then I'm going to go home. That's exactly what I'm going to do, Logan. You know that as well. I know Jackson's plan is going to be opening up A-Site Petro. Wow, Petro was cool. Beautiful Deeg shot to finish that push where it started. TTKM, the lone survivor of that exchange, forced to retreat. Saints playing Mid. Oh, Miggy reloading at a worst possible time and jumps across. Oh, the bullets are flying through the panel and almost gets the kill. Commodus, however, sitting in ladder. Not going to be able to finish off the lone wanderer as Hunter OP. Deagle watching apps. General Raz taking down Miggy as he rotated across. He's not going to get too brave, however, recognizing that there could still be one here. But Hunter OP going to dodge the flash. Not going to be able to find the kill. The Deagle shots are flying, but nothing's going to be found off of them. Petro getting gunned down in market. That's another round for Dalhousie University. Saints uh, forced on the recovery. And uh, the road to recovery is not looking very obvious as right now. What did you just drop? My keys, oh, Logan. Okay. I dropped my keys. As, as I was saying, they are going to have to figure out a road to recovery. As uh, if they lose this round, it's going to be quite brutal for them. Wouldn't you agree? Um, if, they, if Saints Clair loses this round, they have absolutely no economy going into the next round. This is crucial here. They just need a uh, they just need a pick here. Oh wow! CS2 feature being utilized, shooting through the smoke, gonna get him lit up to 90 damage. He's gonna have a pulse three HP. He's gonna finish off that kill he started and do a lot of damage to TTKM, who's standing up there on the boxes. But it's not gonna be enough to open up this mid. The Saints are still holding down. Commodus coming up on catwalk, sees the head, going for the shot, but a little too early, and he's revealed his position now. He's gonna get taken out by General Raz, coming out from underneath. And that is going to be the difference maker for that mid push. Emperor, Emperor Commodus is shooting a little bit too early. General Raz spraying out A, hoping to force the Saints into taking some kind of risky action. And JBH reveals himself from behind the box and starts spraying two targets. But you can't take down a single one of them, unfortunately. Now that's going to be the call for Dalhousie University to push into B site. Molly's are going to come out, forcing anyone who might be hiding out of their spots. Hunter going to take down one. Miggy with the scout in hand and the USP on his holster has the task of winning the round for the Saints. Whether or not he's going to be able to accomplish it, we're going to have to wait and see. Not going to be the way it's going to go. Saints going down. And uh, this is a little spooky. Now, if I were, uh, if I were with the team right now, and I know the call that Petro would say is buy it to 2,000, buy armor, buy deagles, which is exactly what they're doing. Hey, you know the guys. You hey, know they're, guys. They're, gonna, they're, they're deaglers. Good analysis. Mickey, Mickey and Petro are, are, are really good with the deagles. So. Not as good as me, but we're going to see the Saints at least try to capture a little bit of my essence as they push 
into this round. They have to get aggressive, and that's the thing, especially on those eco rounds. If you play a little too passively, that's really the difference maker and what allows it to be too easy for your opponents. You have to get aggressive, surprise them, shock them, come out of corners and little holes that no one would even suspect. Comet is finding one. Uh, Henner OP finding another. I still don't even know where those kills happened, and I'm looking at the main map, but it seems to be the case. Pat Zach on catwalk, picking up the bomb. Hubble taking down one more. Petro. Deagles win crap. round. Deagles. Deagles win round. Absolutely do. Miggy, Miggy with a, another Deagle. Oh, Miggy has General Raz's AK. This is actually huge right here. Yeah, holding it down. We're seeing what the call is going to be for the Saints Publi. They they know where they both are. Hunter saw, or Petro saw where they both were. It's not going to help too much. They still have to kill him. And that's not going to be very easy, but JBH making it look like it is. Deagles win rounds here. Oh. Petro is going to get the final deal here. Guy's not even looking at him. Deagle round for the Saints. One round away from taking this game, which is kind of hard to believe. for each of the Saints. Oh, true, teammates. Hello, Sarah. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. I'm with my buddy, Daniil. We're, we're doing good here. Heading into the next round here, we have the Saints <laughs> trying to close out the series. They did a fantastic job recovering with that Deagle round, and now they have all the money in the world to work with, except for Commodus buying the op, ADR 39, but with an op shot, that could skyrocket. Gonna pop one off, not gonna find any targets. You definitely would. You'd hear a table slamming if he found that shot. We're waiting now. <laughs> Publi. Hey, Mad. And Saints are now pushing through Palace, or um, Dalhousie University going to be pushing through Palace just slowly, um, or rather the uh, connector between T-Ramp. They're going to make the push. JBH, stalwart defender, waiting for them to come up. Smokes are going. Pat and Zach in position. Saints have to defend this. They have to get at least one. That's going to be great. Saints are not going to be completely shut out. They lost the man that was in there, but they can still... It's a traded kill. They still have the numbers to work with. Miggy with Naze, Util in hand, has to make a call here. Flash coming through, but he's not gonna he's not gonna falter going through, finding the headshot with a quick turnaround. That's a second one for Miggy on site. Publi holding down the position, but gonna go down. It's just gonna be TTKM in jungle and the Saints with the nades. Every oh wow, finding a beautiful shot through the smoke and another one finishing off Petro. It's just gonna be Commodus with a pistol in hand. Has to go for the defuse and he's gonna commit to it. He's, he's gonna stick. It. He's holding. To finish off the game, the Saints are going to get the defuse, and that's going to be game one against Dalhousie University. An incredible round and an incredible game, an incredible series, despite it being three to five for a while and then four to five for a little bit more. Finally, with Dalhousie's full roster complete, hopefully game two will be a little bit stronger for them. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the next game coming soon. We hope to see you guys there. We'll be right back after a quick break.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us on this next game. Game two for this series for the NECC Division II Fall 2024 Atlantic Playoffs featuring St. Clair College versus Dalhousie University. Saints had a pretty strong start, but I can say that as much as I want. I'd rather get insights from an inside man. Logan, tell me how that first game went, is, and uh, how are you feeling after that one? Um, I did speak to the, the team um, during the intermission, and they Miggy was racing during the intermission. He hopped on uh, one of our F1 or racing rigs and was <laughs> literally racing. So Interesting. He did a little uh, – he was doing that initially, so they, they just felt confident. They had no, no issues. Everyone was uh, on point. Um, aim was good. Comms were really nice. Uh, the, the utility for the Saints really – I didn't see a single thing miss. No, you're absolutely right. Uh, <laughs> and we're, we're getting some shout-outs now. Um, but that's the, the only ones that matter were the first ones. I should, in any case, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be continuing the round. As the Saints are starting the pistols, they won the knife round, so they get to choose the order. We're going to have to decide where the Saints are going to want to push. Miggy finding a beautiful shot across the alley. We're here on Anubis. Are the Saints comfortable on this map? Um, it's a map that we've been practicing a lot, um, just a, a few a few scrims here and there a week, and I don't think we dropped a, a practice on Anubis or any of the maps, really. I would be surprised if you did. The team is so strong. They've been performing really well. And like you said, they're playing in even other leagues. So a lot of practice, a lot of experience on this squad. Hunter OP taken down, unfortunately. Maybe he wasn't there for all those practices. We'll never know. But uh, waiting, Dalhousie University, they are being really patient. More patient than I'd like, honestly. It's, it's a, pistol round. It's a slow round for, yeah. the, for the pistol round. No, not really much... Oh, now there's a mid aggression here. Not anymore. Sure. Turns out the worst time. Three peaks. I don't think he expects four of them there. I don't think he does. Who would? But one. expecting them or not, he's going to find them. Oh, someone got disconnected for having... General Raz. General, General the, Raz got disconnected. For our Raz. last joiner. The man who was last to join before is going to be the first one out, and the Saints are going to be able to take the round. Taking down Pat Zach. Saints are lucky there because of that disconnect. Ah, uh, arguable. Petra was uh, getting chased four on one. Yeah, and then uh, it was a three on one. <laughs> then it was a two on one. <laughs> and then he killed him. <laughs> so still favorable, hard but favorable um, for Dallas University. Buy a scout here or just nothing. Oh, Miggy's probably watching TikTok. That's what he likes to do. Okay. Mid round, just phone on the uh, in front of him. Well, he has not a Gev. He has been buying the Negev lately. I have been seeing that. used to be my favorite gun when I was playing Counter-Strike on the uh, Xbox 360. So you bought the bot Wolf. There's, oh, there's two bots on their team. But, oh. oh. General Raz is back. Cool. No, he's not. Oh, no, he's not. The other guy is out. General Raz being gone is distracting me from my observing. Jackson takes JBH. Jackson takes down Commodus. Connor OP standing strong, taking down the assailants of a site bomb in tow publicly <laughs> with yeah we do need to be done in 30 minutes so hopefully this game doesn't go to map three the saints are gonna have to fight really hard if they want that to happen <laughs> miggy, miggy miggy attacking his teammate and an act of defiance dead well i don't think he's listening to mr one man in chat when it comes to making sure he's not trolling as he's shooting his own teammates, but Hunter OP gonna finish off the round and looks like everybody's back. It's the second round. Um, so any disadvantage that might have come from the pistols and the interference that came after that, this is a nice reset is the point. And uh, Dalhousie University have their chance to actually make a solid round without any distractions, any issues, and it looks like they're going to be leaving the bomb in a similar play as we always see. Just play things default, look for a pick, and Jackson not going to find any, but a trade comes out mid. Saints now reacting to the pressure being put down, going around the map. JBH with the MP9 in hand, waiting for the rage to come through, finds one. Made short work of Pat Zach, low HP with the assist from Hunter. That was a nice uh, pick and pull from, from
from JBH. And then go head back. Oh, JBH gets two here, but then it's taken down by Publi. Publi's tick planet, planting the bomb in the fish on A site. Oh! oh not even paying attention, Miggy with the R8. But not gonna get the kill. Three Miggy, kills for Publi. Miggy did let the guy once or twice with the RA, so JBH or Petro is taken down by Publi. Not around. Saints we're looking for. Not at all, and this is going to be the entry for Dalhousie University back into this game. Again, some issues with the first two, but after that reset a bit, uh, they are looking pretty strong, winning the round on their return, and the Saints now feeling a little bit of the economic burn. They're going to have enough to at least buy on most of their teammates, but a couple of them are going to be left with the scraps, buying MP9 and 5-7, uh, uh, but with the plays going as they are, we're seeing a trade once again mid. Jackson finding a kill on Commodus. He's having a hard time having impact here on Anubis. Saints down two, Dalho down one rather. Dalhousie missing one of their own teammates. Miggy holding this connector. Molly coming through, going to make short work of his health bar, forced to retreat, but Long is going to be a nice gun duel, TTKM taking down Miggy across the aisle. Bomb is down, it's a numbers advantage for them, so they're going to recognize that, push back, pick it up, and choose a site to plant. They know that B is wide open, probably sitting firmly on it, that's going to be where they're going to go. Saints stacking on A, but no one is going to be answering their challenge over there. If I were Saints here, I would definitely save. Um, see if you can get Miggy's gun outside of a uh, connector. Uh, and really, oh, or you have JBH is trying to get last minute uh, entries here. Oh. You good, Daniel? Yeah, I just have to increase our audio a little bit. That's all. JBH sneakingly on site. Oh, it gets taken down by Publi. Here, this is where Hunter either gets one kill and leaves now, or oh, Hunter. Yes. Ooh, it's not gonna find it. Two to two now. Two to two. Two to two. No retake, but Commodus could 1v3. I, I have faith, Commodus could do a lot of things, but again, maybe not on Anubis so far, having a hard round, no kills, four deaths, but that seems to be the tale um, of this series of this map the saints on this anubis play you guys said you're comfortable on it but as things are so far especially with miggy swinging his knife into the back of his teammates it seems the saints are struggling a little bit uh but with that smoke up and all of them stacking on mid i think they're kind of catching on to dalhousie strategy and in this uh eco round for them they want to exploit that and just get aggressive push through their line of fire get into the back line and cause havoc, but Pat Zach is going to stop that early, take down Miggy, but uh, the teammates are going to be able to trade him out. Both teams down one. Molly's going to come through JBH, almost dying to it, forced back. JBH and Petro are extremely low health. Oh, wrong person. The pictures? <laughs> All the pictures are... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I know. I use the pictures mo more than anything to kind of tell who's who. GBH and Commodus are extremely low here. Petra with a slow aim. Didn't want to flick, but Hunter finding the shot as he Hunter sprayed. Yeah. Well, yeah, he was Good standing kill. in a Good lake of fire. Him. He did have to leave. He was standing in fire. With the team synergy. Maggie <laughs> with the assist on Hunter is going <laughs> to uh, allow Dalhousie University to get a kill a little bit easier. That was an eco round for the Saints. All things considered, it went pretty well for them, finding two. But uh, as the money starts to come in here, it's now or never. This is where things start to matter quite a bit. Rifles are going to be in their hands. And if they lose this round, that would spell terror for the rest of this map. And you might be late for whatever you guys are doing uh, because that could be a game three. Frag Grenade going to dispel that smoke for just a bit as Petro gets aggressive, no longer content with staying in the back lines, but General Raz finding the kill before he goes down. Petro doing a nice 88 to him. Miggy looking to push through the smoke, but not going to be uh, too aggressive for his own good. Hunter OP sitting mid, and we're going to see an exchange inevitably come out. Miggy watching his left, 
Has to swing to his right as soon as he goes around the corner, but not going to have it. He's going to get shot in the back of the head. Nobody wants to check their corners anymore. 2024 corners are a thing of the past. Accommodus looking to avenge his teammate, but in the meantime, there's a push coming out mid. Accommodus finally finding his first kill in the series. Oh, second, actually. And, uh, oh, TTKM opening up eight site with the final they kill on GBH. Here. The economy is extremely broke for Saints. I this, is, this is where I would uh, normally tell them to step it up, pick it up. Like, what are they doing here? They're just like giving out free picks essentially to to Dalhousie and basically giving them kills. Uh, Petro should have killed the guy initially, and Miggy should have checked his corners, like you said. Mm -hmm. So that really just threw them all over the place, and the economy just going downhill, downward spiral. To be fair, with Petro's uh, lack of a kill there, I mean, what what more could you do? I mean, he was he was holding down the left click, shooting the bullet, maybe just a little bit better spray control. But at the end of the day, Commodus is going to be holding onto this gun. I have my doubts that he's going to be holding onto it for much longer. Probably going to go in the hands of a teammate. Um, I could see him just keeping it, yeah. truly, and then everyone else going either Deagles or MP9. Or I could see Mickey going with um, a scout here, which he likes to normally do, but it seems like it's just a eagle buy for everyone, a smoke here and there. Okay. And uh, one diffuse kit. That diffuse kit is very crucial, actually. They're going to remember who has it and where it is on site. <laughs> True. Uh, sending the rifler mid. I like this play, actually. Um, just using the rifle to its maximum potential, spraying it through the smokes. Couldn't do that with the Deagle. JBH is going to find one kill with the headshots. Looks like even though they couldn't hear you, the message rang through. They are not going to be dropping these critical gunfights for much longer. Again, Common is doing a great job holding down middle. The map is in dire straits for Dalhousie University. They're down one player, and it feels like despite the Saints not doing too much, uh, the pressure is just too strong. They don't want to commit to anything. The utils coming out from the Saints all the while. Uh, and they didn't even use it at the start of the round, really. They're using it now to stall out the push even further. Sprays are coming out, but not going to find any marks. Frag in hand and a pocket full of grenades. Rotations are now finally coming through from Dalhousie University. The play is going to be for B, but when that time is or yet to be seen, Nade coming through, smoking out that corner. Miggy seeing that nade, recognizing it, and finding that opportunity Mickey to come through and find the, the kill. Two, double. Double kill with a deagle. Insane deagle kills this round. Almost finds three, but not going to be able to quite narrow it down. Hunter OP fighting for his life, getting the kill combinus at the same time. Wow. Tom Clancy's, uh, what's that one? Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon, Those yeah. Those are like the sync mm -hmm. kills, you know? Like. Do you play much uh, Tom Clancy games? No. But I played Ghost Recon when I was a kid a yeah, lot. I only played uh, Siege, really, Rainbow Six. So. Oh, of course you did. Um, Saints now. That was a critical round for them. They needed it badly. Reloading entry is crazy. Indeed. <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, you're not wrong, but sometimes things happen, yeah, and you have to adapt. <laughs> but with the nade coming through, re Ricochet... Not going to find anything. Miggy wasting that frag. Commodus with the, uh, whoa, Miggy and Commodus with the ops here. Yeesh. So this might be a good play where they always assume just uh, if Dalhouse knows who the opper is and they instantly know where Commodus is. But with Miggy having the op, it could be they know that there's the op on A, but they don't know the op on B. That's true. Yeah, that could affect their play. Miggy, Miggy. finding the shot. Where? Miggy found that kill? The guy was... Like on the other, the guy was like here. No, how do you find that? He's, he's okay. A -man. A -man. okay. 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 That was that was weird. Was uh, like, there's just this game and then. Um, oh, hopefully Mickey. if we win here, there's it's a two-zero. So and then after that, we make it to semifinals. Yes, semifinals would be fantastic for the Saints. They'd be at least guaranteed third place. Um, but Petro, wanting first, finding that kill, and. Watching the cross once again, Miggy wow. with the third off Miggy shot. With the three off kills. Gonna cinch the kill. round. MVP, three kills that round. And Commodus, hey, you know he's picking it back yeah, up. Yeah, four kills, not bad. He's he's getting back. He was struggling a little bit in the early round, but now that he's actually getting his rifles, getting his ops, he's able to find value. Um, again, especially holding mid, it's really important that the Saints get that mid control, and they're sending their beloved opper over to hold it. Um, 
which again makes a lot of sense it's a very critical point and needless to say mid is important it is on most maps but especially anubis as it just gives you so much more access to not just the sites but critical um key power positions on the map that allow you to make rotations nade tosses um flanks information gathering, hearing, it's just super big, super important. This is important. a sneaky play coming from Dalhousie. JBH doesn't hear a single soul and he's gonna get pushed by five of them automatically. Almost taking down, takes down a lot JBH. of them. Petro blind. Oh my god! Four. Beautiful play from Alex, taking down four. Maybe not gonna get the aces. This uh, last survivor of the desperation push is too far gone. This is where I'm in the call saying, give him the ace, give him the ace. And it looks like the Saints I'll might be doing that. I'll start barking here and there, but. Barking? Barking. Well, like, like a dog? Just, uh, I think he'll just chill back, lay low until someone finds a guy. I would give Petro the ace. He deserves it. He might not need to be given to him. He might just seek it out and earn it himself. Saints holding down all the mission critical sites. Hunter OP might be the one to break the treaty. Shooting through. Jackson taking him out. Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alex up there for Petro. running over immediately. Looking at the site as they a got perfect. bombed down down here. It's not about the down bomb. It's not about the round. They want the ace. That's the important part. And that's the difficult Stats. part of this round. I'm a stat, stat guy. Of course you're a stat guy. Of course. And to answer your question, Gramalola69, semis will be uh, next Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Either Same. against um, New York University or um, I'll have to check again who, who they play. Yeah, Dalhousie versus New York would be fantastic. But Petro! Petro with the ace! Not Unbelievable. Gonna, not going to win the round, but it's going to be a thing that happened. Petro just getting an ace casually. We won the round. Putting it in his pocket. Well, yeah, but it didn't oh, win okay. the round. Time won the round, and he just got the ace afterwards. But he did kill him after time, so that he had no money. That, that, see, that he was broke. He oh, was broke I didn't even know that's how that yeah. works. Mm -hmm. So if you die after, after time, you little money, no money. Really? Like you get zero dollars? Wow, that's interesting. I guess there's a little bit of a risk in going for the saves. I respect that mechanic very much. As now, Dalhousie, you look at the guns they have. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. A but nice they have to make something work. Pistols. Midrush. Hunter in the nice smoke. Gets one here. Damages the other. Oh, gets taken down by Pat Zach's Deagle. Commodus trying to off. Misses one. Petro takes down the other. Jax, or TTKM does Deagle headshot, Commodus. Petro, oh. another kill. This oh. is oh. left and right. What a nice spray transfer. Wow, TTKM. TTKM, second Deagle. It takes a lot of bravery to swing Petro and even more to Third get the kill. First shot, JVH. You better win this round. Josh, JVH, you can't lose this. He it's, does a bomb. I think. Uh, TTKM. I think you should. I think you should recognize here the play for um, TTKM would be to leave. Like there, there, there realistically is no reason for a TTKM to stay here. And now that the notification comes out, JBH is not going to have time on his side. Now things are dangerous as swinging corners against a Deagle holder is quite dangerous. JBH does have full set of utility and kit, so that's very crucial. It all matters where the bomb is planted. If it's planted for TTK, won't yeah. matter if you get shot from behind though. Um, playing a little too slow for my comfort, if I'm being honest. You have to just commit to something sometimes, and now he's going to go for it. Holding it at a smoke. perfect angle. Forgot where he planted, wow. potentially. <laughs> and uh, Just shooting through the smoke. JB is going to get the defuse. And hey, that's the value of a coach, baby. You might not have the same hands as your teammates, but you have the game knowledge, and you're able to exploit it to get these rounds. Six to four now. We're just two rounds away from the second half for the Saints to get a hand at the offensive. This could be huge. Back with the in. double ops here. Miggy and Commodus. Sorry, I was having a little fun. Miggy with a little trash talk in the, in the chat. How do you lose versus Josh? He's a good player. Oh, oh wait. I think he saw the shoulder oh. a little bit. Or elbow. Did he, Petro. did he tag him there? I don't think so. No, he did not. No. But, uh, so yeah, just even seeing, the, recognizing the elbow there and trying to adjust to get the flick shot um, just goes to show the caliber of player we're dealing with right now. It's These guys don't play. Uh, this is serious business for them. Um, 
and I respect the skill level so much, the way these guys coordinate. But Miggy, smoke up in mid, losing one to his armor and health, somehow forced to reconsider his next steps as they're going to be able to success successfully rotate through Canal, find an opening to squeeze their way into main A. It's just JBH here, but we've already recognized that JBH is a threat to be respected. Waiting for the any kind of hint that people might be here. Mollying right now would be perfect, but of course he has no reason to in his head. Seeing the Molly come out now, that's his cue. Molly returns, but Pat Zack, not sure where JBH was looking there, but he is going to get taken down. Petro wow, from behind, Petro however. Oh my god, Petro getting two from behind. Unbelievable. Hunter takes down Pat Zack, and Jackson just slowly with Bomb going, trying to... He's in mid right now. I don't know what he's trying to do. If I were him, I would just go plan on B. Oh, no, Bomb is... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, I did not see Bomb. Come on, buddy. Daniel. Hunter OP, so low, but time. This round is gone. Saints taking it out. And I was going to say, it actually might be worthwhile to just like let yourself die before time runs out because <laughs> he was probably going to die regardless. Uh, so kind of just going... Actually, no, it's the last round. So I don't know. In any case, I don't know how much money he would have had, but I do know everyone's going to have to just drop their pockets for this round, spend everything they can, no point in holding it back. We're switching sides after this round since leading seven to four. Strong performance so far. What you were saying wasn't a lie. It seems like the Saints know this map inside and out. They, it, we just got unlucky. I mean, uh, the first few rounds. Uh, right. Yeah. Unlucky. Unlucky. Sure. No, it's just Miggy was on TikTok probably. <laughs> he was too busy racing. I didn't know he was an iRacer so like that. I got to race him sometime. Oh, wow. Man. JBH, unfortunately, not able JBH to spray that. JBH has to hit those. He didn't, though, Logan. And we're going to have to make do with what we have. Miggy getting shot from behind this oh, time just around. Left mid open. Big mistake for the Saints. Not even no one's even looking. Just Commodus and Hunter. Dangerous duo. They have however. economy somewhat if they can get two kills here. No, no. Hunter, Hunter, Brendan, comment to save. Pick up the op again. My save. It's the last round. Oh, I didn't know that. My bad. I said it three yeah, times. I did see, I, you did say that. <laughs> mid lurk activated. That was an insane mid lurk. He got, yeah, that was a good kill. Two, two good kills for Dalhousie. Close at the gun. Logan, we need you. <laughs> hey, they might not be wrong. No, I've told them just, they just got to step it up. They can't let, uh, they just gotta win round round by round. It's just we don't know what they're doing. We're not players. Mm. We're I'm a coach, you're a coach. Mm, mm, mm. So I don't know what the I haven't played in a bit. I'm a bit uh, rusty myself. Mm -hmm. mm. Isn't JBH a coach though? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's he's, he's oh, I need to fix the overlay. Pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. I would be fragging honestly. It's pretty close for for these. Oh, people. Oh, beautiful play. Pushing into mid. Three on three here. Oh, oh Pat wow, Zach. Wow, Pat Zach missing every single shot. Oh, he wasn't missing Saints going with the bomb plant. Miggy with a triple burst on the Glock. Literally could have gotten the kill. I think Miggy should just focus on killing people. And less on uh, whatever he's trying to do. That's just my... That's just my <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back we'll be right <laughs> after a quick break. Uh, don't go anywhere. Shorter, shorter break than uh, anticipated, thankfully. Tech issues in Valve games are very simple, very straightforward. You just got to rejoin. That's all. Uh, however, Saints aren't able to rejoin themselves with victory as they lost the previous round. So now they're pushing. Everyone, Miggy oh, finding a Miggy, nice kill. Nice Mac 10 kill by oh, Accommodus. I didn't even see Accommodus behind Miggy. Neither did I. And definitely 
uh, side of Dalhouse. He didn't see him either. Saints are going to find themselves comfortably on point. TTKM. Joey. Golden Canal with a Saint opposite to him. Commodus. That's a nice skin. I like it. Little yeah, the uh, the Neon Rider. I think that's it's a little cool. gauche, but TTKM. Commodus didn't even shoot there. Hunter OP getting another MAC-10 kill. MAC-10 kill is good for farming money. Really? They're doing really good. Hunter, if they can get another one here. Oh, JBH gets TTKM. MAC-10 kill. Petro with the... Oh, Petro with a nice Leal Leo Leo Wido with a 2-9-Z hollows. Pull that out again. Oh, he gave it to Commodus. He doesn't want it. No, oh, give him the AK. So why is your entire team that face and then Miggy is Kamala Harris? Um, well, it was a time where prior to the, the U.S. election, mm -hmm. um, the guys just changed all their photos to that guy, like the statue. Mm -hmm. um, and then Miggy was kind of being an out outlier mm -hmm. and uh, doing his own stuff. And what do you voted for her? I don't think so. Uh oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to this next round. TTKM is going to get taken out. Saints finding their stride as they're breaking into a sprint. Petro and JBH going to be marking their way over to A, marching rather, as some bodies are going to continue to fall on the other side of the map. Miggy and Commodus finding kills near B. It's just one man left. Pat Zack with the Deagle. Hero play coming through, almost finding the kill on a hunter. Not quite, as he's going to cinch the round for the Saints once again. Six to nine. Five is alive the for the Saints. That oh. was insanely good for the Saints here. Accidentally made the score two <laughs> zero for the Saints. It's not bad. Don't get over over ahead of yourself, Daniel. No, you you can put it back because we're going to two them. I don't think that's the case, honestly. With the way the rounds have been going with uh, Miggy on TikTok, I. I don't know. I can guarantee you they're going to win this round, bring it to 10-6, win the next round because Dalhousie's economy is extremely low, and it's going to be it's going to be 13-6 by the end of, like... You want to put a poutine on that? I'll put a Costco hot dog. And poutine if I win? A JBH. double chunk chocolate cookie. JBH Not deal. with two entry kills here. He's insane. Oh, Triple. my God! Give him the ace! Give him the ace! I mean, there's only three kills. Yeah. He's going to fry up. Okay, so but. double chunk chocolate cookie. Well, hold on. I, I got. I don't remember what you were saying, so I'm gonna have to like reevaluate the, <laughs> the like, it's terms. Of the terms. Six. Thirteen six. Thirteen six. A Costco poutine. I don't think it's thirteen six. It's not gonna be thirteen six. I guarantee you. Poutine no. for me. Hot dog for you. Okay. Deal. Okay. Deal. <laughs> two, two deal. Dogs. Yeah. Sure. Deal. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, deal, All right. Deal. You, you hear that now, guys? Good. Good. Yep. Go back on TikTok, Miggy. Go back on TikTok. Yep. Oh. Commodus. That's fine. Hunter GBH OP. With the 2K. Oh, getting the kill post bomb. General Raz. Hunter OP. He's very overpowered. Commodus might be the problem. I don't think that's the case. Commodus is playing really well. Again, he's just having these rough situations when he's not in his comfort zone on the op, on the you know longer range rifles. I know he used to play Valorant. I used to see, see him playing all the time. So maybe he's just not used to the spray patterns. But when it comes to just clicking, long range, finding the shots and the flicks, that might be his comfort zone. And we're going to see, we're going to observe whether or not he's got the juice in him. Uh, so he's going to be looking all around the place, seeing if he can find any important picks to open up this round for the Saints. General Raz playing for comfort. Bomb's going to get thrown across the canal, picked up by teammate Petro using uh, – not Petro, actually. It is going to be Commodus with the bomb. Jackson. Jeez. Oh, wow. I take row. that back. I'm not getting a Costco – two Costco hot dogs. <laughs> I'm getting a poutine, ladies and gentlemen. As Still possible if Mickey, Mickey can clutch it up. That's if he puts down his phone. I don't think he's going to. That's, That's a poutine earned for right Daniil. And uh, 7 to 10 now. Saints. Man, I could. I wish I could say I was sad about that. But honestly, I can't. Hey, they're going to be done in four minutes for the next <laughs> series. <laughs> next match. Well, they better be for their sake. Three rounds in a row. I don't even think that would be 
I think even if they went 7 to 13, I don't think four minutes is enough time. <laughs> so whatever you guys are looking for, I, I hope, I hope uh, for your sake, they're flexible with the timings because Saints are pushing this one to the brink. Looking now, Commodus with the AK in hand. Not as comfortable as he was on up. And hey, I was right. You know, as soon as he had the op, he was able to find a kill, even in a very unlikely situation. It is just, I, I would say maybe, you'd know better than I, but the guns he's comfortable on are going to be the main GDH thing. He can take it down by Publi here. Not what we wanted. You're right. Yeah. A pub, Publi. Oh my gosh. St. Clair just getting absolutely demolished by Housie. Yeah, looking at the eco as well. Mickey, Mickey's probably going to buy an op for Commodus. I can see that here. They have money. They have money here. Uh, they can play a real round. They can definitely play a real round, but whether or not they want to, I don't know. Um, Miggy down so much money. I don't know where it went. Might have been the op. No, where did it is? Where does no, money he go? Got two AKs. Oh, or I see. Two, yeah. An AK, two Gleals. Okay, so the Saints. And you, too. you think they're pushing? Like they're fighting to win this round, or just they to need damage? to win this round? They need to. Mm -hmm. After all that money spent as well, um, kind of distributing the wealth on Com uh, on uh, Miggy. <laughs> These guys are so trolls. Bad. We need to do this. They need to win. Oh my god, they're just going on site, not even clearing. Oh, Miggy gets pat back. Gibby H gets Publi. Just taken down by Jackson. Jackson gets oh, two. Wow. Miggy with the trade. 2v2 here. They're behind them. They're, they're where they came from. <laughs> nice rotation. <laughs> Wraparound. Both teams doing some Tom and Jerry stuff. Shenanigans over here. I'm going to start hearing some cartoon sound effects. As they slip on the banana peel, entering the site. Smoke's going up, dense clouds of fog. Are they going to go through the cloud, or are they going to rotate around? They're going to commit. Flash coming through. Hunter. They know. It's like wrapping around. Guys Not going to be able to oh. find the mark. It's just Miggy with the AK in hand. Nade as well. He could make a play as long as he focuses up. Hones his attention span long enough not to make, do anything too risky, but finds a headshot through the smoke, through the door. Can he find the final? Miggy! Yes, he can. 8 to with 11. 4K. Beautiful. Beautiful play for the Saints. Bomb going off behind him. He didn't even turn around to look as the old adage goes. Cool guys, do not look at explosions. That was a crucial round for, for St. Clair here. Very. Big Dalhousie, risk. no money really. Woo! They it's looking like MP9. my bank account. <laughs> they have an MP9, some util. Um, really no money after that for Dalhousie. If Saints win here, partial, partial. You have uh, Commodus and Miggy with over almost 2,000 bucks. Oh, Commodus gets taken down by TTKM in mid. But they all just drop down mid doors. Oh, Miggy gets General Raz. That's the other game. That's the other game. <laughs> I jumped. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> because the other game just popped. So it's waiting for us. <laughs> I see. So you guys are double marred. <laughs> I. I. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Um, a little situation out of my control. If only I was made aware. No, I totally forgot. It's going to happen like five, six times. Petro. It's going to happen six times, you said? If, yeah. Oh, my God. Because we're running out the time there. We're running out the clock. For oh, ben my Benning. God. <laughs> <laughs> so that's funny. Mickey finding these kills. Maybe he's hearing that sound himself. Well, as he's Huge. going to get a nice hero play <laughs> with his teammate. Uh, it's, it's, I'm closing. Like, I can close this? Mute it. Mute the tab. True. No more dings, ladies and gentlemen. No more dings. That clip is rendered useless now because of those dings. But hopefully the Saints got one more left in store for us. 8 to 12. They just need one more. Miggy put his phone down, pushed his glasses up, and is he ready for action. Out. I know. It's proverbial glasses like the... Anime guy putting his glasses up. Petro getting one. This is pretty big. In <laughs> Hunter. I would love to see a nice uh, Commodus round here with the op. General Raz taking 50% off of that. And we're seeing the Saints get aggressive. GDH with another oh, huge. A is wide open. Wide open for the Saints here to take the 13th round. It's a 5v1 here. Well, Padzak takes down Petro. JBH is planning here on A site. He could he get. Knows where he is. If he killed JBH like instantly, he would have been able to get the defuse where the Saints wow. found their way Padzak, in. Padzak, it's a three v five, one v three here. He's kind of just 
surrounded. It's very Bomb is planted. We basically win this round, Daniel. I mean, basically I got my poutine. I don't GG's care. GG's already. GG's in the chat. Everyone, Grandma Lola, Vector, Nad. I need a chicken bake after this. Well, you're not going to get one as the Saints wrap it up uh, in a fantastic series against Dallas University. There were some ups and there were some downs, but ultimately they were able to come out on top, performing, winning their shots, getting their guns, getting their wins, the races, nades. Everything was done so well on the side of the Saints. And I think it goes to show when this team is uh, really focused in, um, they're quite the team and difficult to beat. What are your thoughts on this series as an insider once again? Just break that down for me. Tell, you how, tell me how you're feeling after that. Feeling really, really good. Um, we we really didn't scrim at all this week. Uh, this is our first <laughs> this is our first uh, time in in the server this week. So uh, after that nice two zero, mm -hmm. I feel very, very good, very good with me. You're not on the wrong team. You you didn't you didn't blow it. These t this team is going places very strong, and they can uh, they, they can make it happen. Scrims or not. They can make a round and make an incredible series happen. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the stream for tonight. St. Clair College wrapping things up 2-0 against Dalhousie University. And as soon as that one wrapped up, they're on to another match, playing something else. Uh, and best of luck to the boys in that endeavor. But any words to say before we wrap up tonight, Logan? Um, so for next week's game, uh, semifinals, we play UF. Um, don't even know what school that is. I'll have to figure that out um, next week. But it will definitely be a nice 2-0 for us. And after that, we will Wait, go. Wait, Hawk to Hollywood. Finals. That guy's name is Hawk Hollywood. There was someone I used to play um, a fighting game with named Hawk Hollywood. He was like my rival. Now, if that's the same guy, that'd be crazy. I think we're going to try and cast, or I'm going to try and cast all of the playoffs. Well, we see you here next week. Yeah. If, uh, if it works out to be the case, then I will absolutely do so. But nothing is guaranteed, especially in the volatile world of collegiate esports. But we love how volatile it is at times because it makes things all the more entertaining. But, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of volatile and unpredictable, this stream's end is going to come out of nowhere at you. And we're going to wrap things up. Thank you very much for tuning in. We hope you have a fantastic night. Take care. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Right.